Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to No Man's Sky and today we have animals who are flying through buildings and through the ground and are glitching out hmm. and is going to enter a cave and this is actually very interesting to me <laughs> what is going on here? what do you mean you can't enter there? It's like, there's like nothing there okay I'm kinda, I'm, first of all I'm kinda liking the uh, this animal in general. I kind of like the way it looks. It looks like it's that it, like it should be something that's actually flying through space. So that's lovely. Uh, <laughs> I guess it considers that there's a wall here or oh, uh, let me ask. It's because there's no actual ground here. Where, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, that's where it is. It's free! Alright, let's actually go do some quick server missions now that that distraction is over with. That was nice, though. Right, uh, after that lag spike, because it need, because the game needs to actually generate space for us, and it kind of forgets yeah, after I enter the game. So, yeah. anyway, uh, we're gonna be doing a couple of quicksilver missions today. Hopefully, there's a couple of very nice ones. If uh, there are no quicksilver missions, where we're gonna end it off there, it's gonna be a two-minute episode, and that's just gonna be it. Uh, might sound a little bit hyper today, that's because I ate a whole candy bar. Actually two. Drag, drank two glasses of coke. So my, I'm slightly hyped up on sugar. I'm expecting to crash any moment. Right, anyway, unearth ancient bones. Let's go find them bones. Oh, my dog is gonna love this. Too bad they don't smell. If they did, oh my god, it drives her insane. Like, she can smell food, but she doesn't see it. <laughs> Especially when it's, like, up on a counter or something. She doesn't see it, and she just goes there. Just starts barking at the food. And I'm like, you just ate! That is funny. Anyway. Anyway, another thing, Ancient Bones. Alright, let's see where the bones are located. They're probably there, but I keep assuming it's the closest planet, and it never is. So I probably sh should start assuming that it's a different world. Right, well, even though the marker is over there, we don't actually need to go directly towards the marker. We just need to land on the planet and start looking for bones. And hopefully we'll find, what is it, like 12 did it one last time, or 11 or something like that? Yeah, it wants a lot of bones now. At least this isn't an archipelago planet, so there, there's actually land. Instead of it being like 95% water. Which is just uh, horrible to find bones on. Oh. oh, it's one of these! Oh, I love these planets. In fact, if we find one of those light sources, I'm definitely taking it. I love these so much. Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah. Off planet? What do you mean it's not even on this planet? Oh, I'm disappointed now. <laughs> I just... oh, I like these planets. A lot. I don't build bases on them, but I do like them. What is it, on a moon? Arrival in two hours. Wait a minute. This is on this planet. No, no it's not. It's, not. it's like over there. Way over there. It's the furthest one away. Wow. Sure game. Fly me to the moon. Land me next to ancient bones. And that's about as much as I could think of. And we're gonna land here. Apparently this planet has uh, stellar corruption. Apparently that is uh, that has been detected on this world. And there's apparently a storm going on. But it's fine, we don't care. Actually, can I summon my freighter here? Yes, I can. Good. This means we can use the buggy. Uh, no, 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 no bones. No bones? Oh, bones. Okay, well at least we found one. Stop going back, we're going forward. Forward, upwards, to glory, to victory. To something, to food. Oh, that, that motivates me a lot. Okay, these are not easy to get, so it's not a carbon farmable planet. And stop. Now we're gonna need our terrain manipulator, which will soon actually have to be refilled. That being said, I could just do it now. 
to save myself the trouble in like two minutes. Alright, it's just one bone. And we need to, yeah, it is 12. Oh well. Oh, there's more. Nice. As long as we can get like a chain of these, we should be fine. There's one more over there. That's 600. That's 500. So we should be. Hello! Okay, what I can do is I can actually place a custom marker here, come back here afterwards, and I know that when I open my visor here, I'm gonna see a lot of these. In case I can't find any more uh, natural burial sites. That's gonna make this a little bit quicker. Halt! The, 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 the thing doesn't have brakes, that's why I'm actually just exiting. It's too fast, and it has brakes from a... From Pento! From Pento, right, okay. Took me a moment there. I couldn't figure out I couldn't figure out a car with the uh, small brakes. <laughs> I just couldn't. I don't know why. It just blocked my mind. All right, we're apparently going to need. Actually, no, not that. We need. Uh, oh, yeah, we do need this. Hello, stop. What did I need? I needed something. I think. It, oh yeah, it was fuel. It's not life jelly. That was fuel. Yeah, man. Just the one? Really? Cheapskate. Alright, next one. Next one. Where, where, where is it? Where, oh, there it is. Okay. Pretty sure these are around the custom marker. Actually, I can't even see the custom marker anymore. Where is the custom marker? Oh, there it is. Okay. A be beacon? Waypoint? Beacon? Okay, I guess it's both. Alright, that's fine. And onwards to the next. I'm pretty sure we're base. Basically, uh, seeing the same ones from here, but right, just in case, as I said. Did that's a beacon or that's a bacon. Considering I just ate, it's a little bit weird for me to be thinking of bacon. Can okay, I dig? Dig a little bit more, though. Just, just a little bit more. Nice. Legendary. Ah, uh, epic. Close. That puts us at five, and we have one more over there. This is a very red... Hello, I'm not passing that up. If it's like right next to me, there's no point in passing it up. But I'm not really gonna go out of my way searching for those anymore. It's not happening. Oh. Custom mark. Oh. Yeah, right. Well, we don't need the custom marker anymore. Hurry! Our sentinel is upon us. The enemy's at our gates. What is that? Oh. It's a cargo drop. What's with the ancient bones that are just with you know they have just one? Like what did just the head of the dinosaur die there? Or I don't know, I think we picked up a head. That could be wrong. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it. I'm saying that like that's something... Oh, right, these trees are kind of hard to destroy. I'm saying that like it's something new, but I'm like almost always out of it. It's a kind of uh, starting to become a thing. You know, once upon a time, actually in my first job, which was uh, many years ago, many, many years ago, uh, but I was... You know, I had a boss who was basically uh, working at a, uh, what was it? Ooh, I think it was a thermal plant? I don't know, he was working, he was some sort of an engineer, he was working at a plant. And um, he opened up a fast food joint, it was a, it was a relatively small fast food joint, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before. Uh, and uh, he basically, every time, every day he got back from work at a certain time, and immediately he would just go home. And he has told me his routine, by the way, this is why I know. He said, I come home at this time, and I just take a shower, hello legendary, and immediately come to work. And sometimes, uh, the reason I know this, by the way, is he did tell me, and the reason he told me is because sometimes I would have to pick him up with the company car, which was technically our delivery car. <laughs> it's still a company car, though. Are these? Yeah, these are more or less the same distance. Okay. 
And you know, he would basically not sleep because he well, he would sleep for like a couple of hours a day because we would stay up till like sometimes until like two three a.m. Uh, it wasn't a twenty four hour open thing. It was technically supposed to close a little bit earlier, but we kept it open for a little bit longer at times because there was like customers. And uh, yeah, he would basically. Uh, in his shift, sleep for like two or three hours and go to work. And this would be his whole week. And I never knew how he actually survived with so much, so little sleep for so long. We're not talking about a couple of days, we're talking about months. Uh, and he would basically, you know, just sleep on Saturdays and Sundays for a long time. Because he's not at work on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, except for the fast food joint. But he came there at uh, the afternoon, so. Uh, yeah, eventually, of course, he promoted me to uh, the worst possible thing he could have done, which was make me a manager there. Uh, I basically had his job, which was there to be there as long as possible. <laughs> yeah, granted, I got paid a lot, but jeez, I was like there for like 12, 13 hours some days. Actually, more some days. S just so that he doesn't come to work anymore. <laughs> It's kind of funny. But yeah, anyway, my point was, uh, before I forget what my point was, is that, you know, I'm basically the same way. I sleep like three or four hours every day, and uh, Saturday, and, well, mostly Saturday, I just make up for it by sleeping for 12 hours. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Oh well. It happens. Okay, we're gonna go in that direction. We're gonna hopefully... Oh, oh, we're actually done. I didn't even notice. Okay, we need to scan. Can I actually scan with the buggy, or... Okay, I can. I didn't even notice we were done. Where is the thing? How far away is the thing? That's very close. How far away is our ship? Could I please? Yeah, our ship is kind of close. Forward! Oh, hello, sal salvage stuff. Salvage technology modules. So you saw me coming and you decided to sit down. Huh? I was gonna give you your samples. That's really rude. Oh, let's see what, what's here. Uh, S-Class? Nothing? Alright, whatever. That's fine. He probably gave me nanites that just vanished off the screen because we were in the middle of a sort of cutscene. Uh, uh, no, we don't need anything else. Alright, let's leave. I will go to the ship by buggy. I kind of like the buggy. We haven't used it in a while, so... And it's only like an extra couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna refill everything along the way. Hello, I almost passed it. I would have wondered why we haven't reached it in a moment, but... As I said, I'm waiting for the crash. Uh, I just am. As soon as we're out of the atmosphere, there it is. I call upon thee, O spherical being. Oh, this is very slow. Oh my, I'm actually gonna fall asleep. Alright, there it is. Okay. Now, oh, right, our inventory is gonna be filled with bones. At least there are none here. Oh, we have core. Oh my god, we have so much stuff here. Oh, why do I need that? Storm crystals, get relics, get nap! It's like catnip, but for Gek. I actually have no idea what catnip is. I've never had a cat, and I've... I have never actually had a cat. Oh well. Don't plan on getting one, but... It's too late, we have a dog now. I'm planning on getting more bunnies, though, in the future. Uh, okay, we're definitely... Ah, uh, we're definitely not doing that. That's a factory override unit, though. That's... that's useful. Hunt dangerous pirates, I don't care. It just doesn't give anything I want, otherwise I would do it. Uh, well, the thing we need to do is we actually need to talk to that person over there to get our free weekly... Uh, uh, free freighter, derelict freighter thing weekly. Even though I keep buying them. It's mostly by accident that I keep buying them. Uh, that's not actually what I was supposed to press. I guess it's gonna be 234 credits, okay. There it is, we ask about freighters and he's gonna give us one for free. There it is. And I guess... That was a weird noise. 
I have no idea how I did it. Anyway, uh, and I guess we're gonna be uh, doing some manufacturing facilities. We're in a geek world. That should be fun. Like, it's not like it's gonna make a big difference. I already don't know the language, but all we are getting returned. Uh, well, I was on my way to that erupting planet, which was actually a mistake, and I got scanned by pirates because why not? Why wouldn't there be uh, pirates here? I was gonna say pirates for some reason. Okay. Uh, hello. I kind of missed the pirate frigate, to be honest. I just, I just remembered about that. That was kind of nice. Hey, aim fire. Uh, all right. Uh, do we not have backwards weapons? What's going on here? Where's our aft torpedoes? Alright, well, in this case, this system is actually a dud because the rest of the planets that we haven't been to are all anomalous. Yeah, that one's a petrified one. Yep, let's go to a different system. And we want a Viking one, preferably. Oh, there's one. All right. it has only like three planets, but that's fine. Okay, lovely. This one actually has a nice... Oh, I kind of... Okay, I kind of like this type of space. It's nice and blue. I do like it. Right, anyway, hello, and that's a green world. And that is very green, I should have said. Actually, to be a bit more precise, that is very... That is extremely green. That is fake grass green. You know, when I have a lawn, I want grass that's that green. Like... <laughs> I want my neighbors to say that it's radioactive or something. Well, that's gonna be weird. One day, one day. Probably never, but one day. You know how expensive a house is? Jesus. Alright, anyway, we're gonna go for that berry technology module because it's already here and I might as well. Are we? Yeah, we are. I'll be 30 minutes later. Hello. And up. Up. And, oh, away, away we go. Uh, okay, probably actually shouldn't have been doing this. Oh, hello, is that close? Uh, yes. Yes, but I'm too lazy. Let's actually do manufacturing facilities. That's what we were supposed to do. I should have just started off wandering on the planet. <laughs> so I got a little bit distracted there. Just, just a smidgen. Just a little bit. Oh, I actually see something over there. Look at that. Is it a tree? Or... No, it's a deposit. Oh, well. That's fine, I guess. Alright, let's do one more scan. Nothing nothing found? Really? Really? There, there's no manufacturing facilities on this world? Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go towards the supply depot in that case. The game says there's nothing else here, so... Apparently this world is devoid of life. I'm not actually entirely sure if the scan is gonna be limited to one region or the entire planet. But I think it's the entire planet. That is just, there's just nothing there. Alright. Oh, I see something over there. Star Bramble. Nope. How far away is this? That is very far away. Are you kidding? Might as well be on the next world. Yeah, might as well be. Look at that. I would have gotten here, I would have gotten to the next planet quicker, I think. The problem is this is actually going to rotate my ship as soon as I let go of the free cam. Hello, I see something. What is that? What is that? By the way, a nice neat trick to tell if you actually, uh, if you're coming from the right angle. Uh, since the sentinels take a little bit to spawn and you might actually not see them. A nice way to tell is just to switch to a weapon and shoot at the door. But that's only if you're coming from a good angle, from the door angle. Because this way, if you actually see damage, it means it's a manufacturing facility. If you don't see damage, it's something else. There's another way to tell the buildings apart. I just don't know it. So, I've, I've never actually... Uh, mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. No, no, no. We're doing this the proper way. No, come on. Ship. Ship, please. Hover. This is the proper way to do it. <laughs> I like that way. There is no other way to do it. Now, while our ship is flying, it has autopilot on, so we're gonna do this, and apparently we're not gonna get anything. Hmm. 
Hello. That's an abandoned one. Alright. I guess we can just roam about and hope to find one? After the sentinels stop searching, that is? We could roam about for a little bit. Hello. Now I'm coming from the right angle. I saw damage. This means that there is a door I'm looking for. So this is a manufacturing facility. Because as you can see, the sentinels spawned just, just before we landed. They take a little bit of time. Yeah, that's one way to tell. The other way is to actually recognize the buildings, which I don't. Am I full? Apparently, yes. Alright, we're gonna get this one today. Last day we didn't get anything. The factory produces components for starships, fabricating them from the resources available on this world. Interloper. That is all we know. The installation creates parts for Viking fighters. While Viking buildings are heavily fortified to withstand bombardment, their starcraft prioritize the speed and flexibility required for their hunts. A video feed on the terminal shows a warning, a warrior shaking their hands wildly at a camera deep within the factory's heart. Uh, okay, so I know this one's not it. Uh, I think it's increased the production speed, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I increased the production speed. A message informs me that the heat levels are now back within normal limits, the extra energy dissipating within the factory's depths. The warrior rewards me with a gift, thanking me for saving their life. And I'm actually not going to get a recipe, am I? Yeah, I'm not. You see, there are manufacturing facilities on this world. Why are you lying to me? Uh, and I don't know why this happens. It'll just say there's nothing else, even though there's obviously something on the planet. Even though there's obviously a lot of things on the planet. That is only on the other side of the planet. That's, hello, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say no to that. Yeah, it's a little bit out of the way, but we really need to learn the language soon. Like within the next year or two. I don't know why I actually didn't prioritize this one for Korvac. So the first one we did I think I prioritized Gak. Uh, the second one we definitely did the Viking. And the save I am not entirely sure why I didn't just do Korvax. I kind of like the Corvax. I don't know why I didn't do Corvax, to be honest. I kind of just decided Viking again because I never actually fully finished it. It was at like 80% or 70% or something like that. Like 600 or 700 words, something like that. Oh, no, wait. No, 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 no. I think it was total like 600, 700 words and we had like four or 500 Viking words. Something like that. I could be misremembering. We haven't played on that save in uh, a couple of months, so. All right, let's see what's here. Except, of course, the door. Any words? No words. All right, let's see. Is this one going to be basically the same one? The factory produces bladed weapons free from any energy-based components at all. So, iron, steel, titanium, tritanium. I can't actually think of anything else. Uh, production halted. Immobile organic matter in pipe 17. Why? Oh, I remember this. The manifest suggests they are disdained for ceremonial usage within the Viking fleet. A reminder that the greatest death arrives when you stare your opponent in the eyes. Free from technology, face to face in final combat. Unless your opponent is a Corvax. Something has gone wrong. Production is blocked by foreign material. Uh... Purge biological matter. Okay, never mind. I initiate purge of biological matter in the factory below. The terminal confirms the death of an unknown creature. The automated factory system offers me a reward, but it's still red. And I get nothing. Go away. I got angry. Sorry. That annoyed me. Anyway, we're gonna end things off here. I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.